Steve Dotto here, and LinkedIn has just released their first native iPad app. Uh, they've had for quite some time an iPhone app, which was a small screen, fairly limited in functionality, but they have released an iPad app, and it I think they've done a pretty good job. Uh, before we begin, let's take a quick look at what LinkedIn app does with us on the website. When we when we visit them online, typically speaking, we visit LinkedIn to do a couple things. Obviously, to stay in contact with our network. But when I visit the LinkedIn page, I always check along here in the top area, especially my inbox, seeing what communications, what new invitations I have. I like to check all of the different status updates of the different people who I'm following and are friends with, very similar to Twitter or Facebook status updates. And finally, one of the things that I do a lot is I check and see who's viewed my profile. I'm always curious about who's curious about me. So I do that as well each time I visit. Now, depending on how you use LinkedIn, you might do a lot of other things, but I think most people kind of follow that basic pattern. Now let's take a look at the iPad app. I've got it installed here, and when I launch it, we're brought into this pretty nice clean screen that obviously takes much better use of the iPad real estate. Three basic areas, and if you think about it, I was just talking about three basic things as well. The three basic areas are you, updates, and an inbox. Let's start with the inbox because that's what I said. The first thing that I do is I basically go in and I check who sent me email, who sent me invitations. I guess they call it in LinkedIn in mail. And here I've got all of the different emails or in mails that I've received, the ones that I haven't responded to yet or the invitations are in the top and all of the messages are down beneath. I can compose new messages here and do all that sort of stuff right from this screen. At any time while I'm on the LinkedIn screen, I can just tap on the magnifying glass and that brings me into a list of all of my contacts all at once. So that's pretty useful as well. To get back to the home page, you clicked on the in box in the top left hand corner and that brings us back in to this main area. Now let's take a look at you, or in my case, me. And here we're brought in and they tell you right away who's viewed your profile. So that curiosity about who's curious about you, satisfied right away. They give you the list down below of people you may know. I always like browsing through and, and reconnecting with or connecting with interesting people, seeing who knows people that I know. It's a great way of building your network. And then a list of all of my dis different recent status updates within LinkedIn. Now if I scroll to the left side of the screen, this is my profile. So I can check my profile information, make sure that it's all accurate. I can edit it if I wanna make any changes to my LinkedIn profile, of course. It's really important to keep your profile on LinkedIn up to date. It's a very important networking and brand building exercise. Now the final area is the all updates area and here's where LinkedIn really went to town and I think they did a really good job and they've, they've basically stolen something from the folks over at Flipboard because if we take a look here, we've got a nice summary page of everything that's happening in our LinkedIn world but as we scroll through, we see the different posts, status updates, uh, references that people have posted on LinkedIn, and doesn't it feel like Flipboard? I mean, it doesn't have the page turning, but it's got the, the, the page composition that makes it so easy to browse through. It makes it actually quite a pleasure to browse through the information that's online. They've basically encapsulated it in small little snippets and allow us to take a quick look at what's going on and then, of course, drill in deeper to read anything in detail that we want. So this, I think, is a really nice additional feature. It makes LinkedIn feel, well, it, it makes it feel more comfortable browsing and it makes it more of a, it makes it more of an ex, a browsing experience through the different content that other people in LinkedIn think I might be interested in and think is important in their life. Overall now, a much more graphically appealing tool, fits better than the iPad screen, and of course, it's free so you really can't go wrong. Overall, I think it's well worth installing on your iPad. I'm not sure I'll use it to replace everything I do on LinkedIn, on the web. As a matter of fact, I know I won't, but when I'm on my iPad now, I'll certainly check it a lot more than I would have with the old iPhone app.